It's the NFL on EA Sports as you take a look there at Lincoln Financial Field in Philadelphia, PA. Tonight, it's the Monday conclusion to what's been an amazing Super Wild Card weekend as it'll be the Green Bay Packers taking on the Philadelphia Eagles. What a weekend it's been already. One more to get through on this Monday night, and we are underway here in the wild card round. And a signal there for the fair catch, so this opening drive will begin at the 25-yard line. Start by running the option to the right. Only a couple for him there on the game's first play, and it's second down. Some teams like to start aggressive to begin a drive, but this is still what you expect to see in normal situations. Just call a simple run, get a few yards, and begin the series, and set yourself up for something bigger on second down. They'll break the huddle, come up on second and eight at the 27-yard line. Here's Hurts to throw. He completes it to Julio Jones. And he gets this one just shy of the 40 down at the 39. 12 yards that time for number 12 as they move the chains. That's his first catch of the game and an impressive one against multiple defenders. And how about that start? Really aggressive. Yeah, there was double coverage out there, but that didn't stop them at all. They went right at it and defeated it on that play. Off the play fake, here's Hurts. This short throw caught by Goddard. And yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 25 yards there on the catch and run. Well, I think when they look at their offense, they think to themselves, weapons, weapons everywhere. And they want to move the ball around. They want to spread it to different people. But you absolutely know they want to get this man involved as well. And that's what they just did on that play. But first down, Hurts. He delivers another to Gatter, complete. And he's brought down, but not before he reaches the eight-yard line. A big play there on the catch and run. And it's going to yield a new set of downs. Boy, no problems getting down the field here on this opening drive. They've looked really sharp in the early going. And they've come up with some big plays already. Here's another. That's going to set up first and goal. So first and goal and an opportunity for our first points in this wild card game. 63, 63, 63. Hurt sets up to throw it. And he'll go down. Brought down at the 20-yard line. Lucas Van Ness in there to bury him for a loss of 11. For a rookie first rounder, he's made a huge impact on this defense, but that tells me that they had a plan for him when they drafted him. Just turn him loose, do what you do best, go get the quarterback. First down, a bit of a disaster, and now on second and goal, back even further. Hurts. And that's out to the flat for Swift. Touchdown! strike first here in this wild card matchup. So they take the opening kickoff and drive it all the way down the field. And that's the last thing you want defensively. On the road, in the playoffs, and now you're down a touchdown right away. On for the extra point, Jake Elliott. He's got it, and the Eagles lead it. Now, 
after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And tackled at the 21-yard line, so a net negative there of four yards. Love going to break the huddle, lead the Packers up here first and 10 at their own 21. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And he'll be hit as he releases it, and that'll fall incomplete. Well, he certainly didn't like what he saw all from the coverage on his primary reads, and he didn't even have any luck trying to get back to his safety valve. Give defense a credit, coverage was in lockdown mode everywhere. Now a second and ten. Now the man from UTEP, this is Aaron Jones. And he's up in it after a gain of four up to the 25-yard line. The second down play call was not to put the first down. It was to accomplish what they did to get into a manageable third down because they had incompletion on first down, so they were behind the sticks, so to speak. They needed to make up some ground, and they did. And the Eagles with a dime look. Six DBs on third down. Off the play fake, Love. Pressure comes and down he goes. The Eagles get the side. Multiple players combined for their team's first sack of the game. Okay, I'm not sure you could actually draw a better pass rush than that one right there. Nowhere to go outside. He had to keep backing up and backing up and backing up. Eventually dropped for a huge loss. Call that a 46-yard punt with a net of 40 on the six-yard return. And it will be Eagles football first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. They'll start on the ground with Swift. And he'll be taken down at about the 45. I feel like I could see what he was thinking on that carry. He wanted to follow that big tackle through the hole. Ended up only getting four yards on the carry. I think he had designs on that one being bigger. Second down and six now. And Hurts going to move him around. From the 45 on second down. Hurts. That one complete down the field to Smith. A big play there for Philly. 44 yards. And the offense is saying to itself right now, oh, they were all this easy because he was wide open. And once he made the catch, plenty of room to work his way downfield. That was a breakdown on the defensive side of the ball, one that they want to fix immediately. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now with just one second showing on the play clock, we're going to get a timeout. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Now a first and 10 at the 11. Throwing his hurts. This is caught. And yeah, he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right of the yard. On second down, Swift. And he's here. DeAndre Swift with his second touchdown of this opening quarter. And the Eagles lead this now 13-0 here in the opening quarter of the ballgame. 
And as a defensive coordinator, you're almost in a no-win situation down here near the goal line. You know how dangerous Jalen Hurts is when he holds on to it. You've got to be prepared to stay with him. So when he hands it off, you can slow it down. This is how it good on the extra point. And that'll make the score 14 to 0. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And he will be taken down here as the first quarter of play will come to an end. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. They trail early on the road in the playoffs. Not a great combination as they've got it first and 10. And that'll be incomplete. We do have a penalty flag down, however. Let's see what that's about. second down good running right there and this is a man who's a thousand yard rusher in the regular season so you know he's going to get his chances and he picks up nice yardage on that one from the 20 here's second and three they'll go again to jones and forget about finding a lane he barely has time to look up before he was playing in the backfield Third down, Love. This one swung out here to Jones. And he's going to have the Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Now a first down carry by Jones. And he'll get this up just shy of the 30. Brandon, we just saw the benefits of being able to run the ball successfully. They pick up four yards on that carry. So now, if you're a play caller, you can do just about anything you want, but on the defensive side of the ball, you scramble a little bit. Now you're behind trying to figure out, do I need to blitz him? Do I need to pressure him? How do I gain an advantage on this snap? And he'll be brought down shy of the 40 at the 38-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon, and it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. At that time, they pick up the first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Well, Jones with a nice burst there on first down as he'll be taken down, but not before a gain of seven yards. Solid running there. And, C.D., we hear so much about what it takes to win in the playoffs. Most people like to include having a strong running game in their assessment. And with this man in the backfield, this group has a strong running game without a doubt. Oh, I absolutely agree with you there because in terms of yardage, he's a top five running back in the league. And in terms of impact on a game, not many better than him. And when they're flowing and he's carrying the ball consistently, they're tough to beat. Second down, long. Oh, he tries to force it in and it's intercepted. Still going inside the 20. And he takes this one back into the end zone. CD, we have seen it many times throughout the course of the season. This defense coming up large and snagging a big takeaway. But here they get not just the takeaway, six points as well. And you just knew that for this team to advance, it had to get a big performance from this unit. And to this point, they've delivered. Elliott Good with a PAT. So 
So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. And he won't quite make it to the 25. Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're you down. Want to. Well, no, but oh, let me finish. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've got nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just you called it I think you just called it desperation time. I, I think did. you did. Yeah. But let's face it, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The energy level hasn't been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching Ready. instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. Ready. On second down, it's Jones. Takes this to the 27. Give him four yards. They are in need of six yards here if they hope to move the chains. Here's Love. And this pass broken up. It's not an easy one to hold on to. Oh, I thought he had that one, and that was nearly a big third down conversion to give this drive some life. Instead, they're on the spot and help separate the receiver from the ball. Love going to stay out there. They'll take a chance on fourth down. In motion right, Dobbs. On fourth down, Love. Oh, everything falling apart now. Another one intercepted. Well, we've seen a lot of mistakes here in this first half, and another there on the interception. Yeah, they're certainly starting to pile up, aren't they? Because, let's face it, we expect a miscue here and there, but they're already down three scores and still giving the ball away. If they want to get back into this one, they've got to take care of the ball because right now the way they're playing doesn't say a whole lot for their chances. On first and ten, it's Swift. And he's got it down to the 28. Oh, that's a real nice job there by the defense in front. They just engaged and held their ground. But how about the guy who made the play? We often talk about whether they take a good first step or not. Many times, you just don't take any step. Just get your feet moving, get your body going. And then once he made the read, he was able to make the play. Hurts throw there, taken in by Smith. And inside the 20 before he's brought it down. It's an Eagles first down on a gain of 11. Let's just call it what it is. This has been a flat-out struggle for this defense all game long. They've really had a hard time slowing them down. And while I'm not big on speeches and guys jumping up and down, they might need their team leader on defense to get in their face right now and light a fire under these guys. They've got to start playing better assignment football and start getting guys on the ground. On first and ten, it's Hurts. It's complete to Brown, right side. They'll give him four yards there, and that's going to bring up second down. Well, it's time to give a little credit there to the defense. They played that very well because it was a drag route, and he ran it a little shallower than normal as he worked straight across the field. He was hoping he'd get lost behind the defensive line, but once he made the catch, nowhere to turn up field and gain any yardage. Second down, here's Jalen Hurts. Flushed out right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. And here you're down in the red zone. You need to be smart, not force anything. So that's a wise decision to just get rid of the football. So after the second down incompletion, they'll come up now against a third and six. Hey, 
Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. He will find Smith in the end zone. Touchdown. From 13 yards out. And the Eagles continue to show why it pays to play at home in the postseason as they add on to their lead. Elliott on for the extra point. And he's been his man for five minutes. Got to be able to throw him and to extend the lead. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. Reed going to bring it out of the end zone. And he had no room to run as he's tackled down inside the 20. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. And Charles, we'll see what they can do here. Not a ton of time left, but enough certainly to get points out of this drive. And they need them right now because they're trailing. Yeah, this is exactly why you practice a two-minute drill all through camp and at least one practice each week before a game. A minute left, more than enough time to string a few completions. But well, he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he'll be out of bounds just shy of the 40. Boy, he ran free there after the catch as that winds up going for 38. This play is a thing of beauty when it works as designed because they let the running back slip out of the backfield and head down the sideline on a wheel route. Number one, it's easy for him to get lost. And number two, really tough for the linebacker to run with him. And this ball is right on the money and leads to a big play. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. On first and ten, Love. He lets this one fly toward the back of the end zone. That is incomplete. I believe I'm following their logic. Take the big shot downfield, loosen things up. You're hoping to get some points on the board before the half. Maybe now you come back and throw some underneath stuff in order to make sure you get a completion. Here's second and ten. And now Love going to change things up. On second and ten. Love. Blitz coming and down he goes. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts. As they'll stop with 25 seconds to go here in half number one. We say before the game, I think it's still a pain. If these guys are going to advance in these playoffs, they're going to have to wreak some havoc coming off the edge. Yeah, wild card round. They told us the wild card could be that defensive pressure. They showed it there. Well, a tough situation to overcome here. Third and 17. Throwing. Love. And he has another first down as they'll get the ball down to the Eagles' 12-yard line. Now the Packers going to go ahead and use the second of their timeouts. So that means they're down to one remaining here as we head toward halftime. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. Working out of the gun. Love. And he's got it. It's caught for a Packers touchdown. Aaron Jones as the first half is winding down. And the Packers are able to cut into this lead in the final seconds of the first half. Carlson's extra point up and good. And it's now a 28-7 ball game. So not much time to speak of remaining in this first half as the kick's away. And he'll elect not to run with it. And a fair catch on the kickoff will move the ball to the 25. at the line this Philly offense set to go and with a three score lead already this is not time for a momentum change so I'd imagine they'd be happy to just take this into the locker room Hurts throw complete here to his receiver Brown 
17 yards and a first down for Philly. And defensively, they were in zone coverage there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz game. And you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle. It doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. Well, that was an interesting look there because as soon as he got outside the pocket, I thought he was going to take off and run for yardage. But what often happens now with these quarterbacks who can move, defenses want to try and keep bodies in front of them. And I think that discouraged him from taking off and made him try a pass downfield that fell incomplete. Second and ten. They just do get the playoff as he'll look to throw. And Jones has it over the middle. And he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. So we've hit intermission. It's halftime. This is the NFL, and it's a presentation of EA Sports. Welcome back. Halftime over. We are ready for quarter number three. Alongside Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. One of these two teams about to play their final half of the season as we're back at it in this NFC wildcard bout. No run back here to begin the half, and we will start at the 25-yard line. The Packer offense ready to get their next drive underway. And Charles, that had to be an interesting locker room at halftime. This is a team that's had so much success this year. Haven't really had to deal with a lot of adversity at halftime, to be honest. But now here they are with their playoff lives on the line. And I think when you're alluding to that interesting locker room, you're just wondering... How are they handling that bit of adversity that they're seeing right now? Because I think this is a team that has to look to lean on the veterans at this point. We know we're better than this. We've proved it all season. Let them disseminate that confidence through the locker room. But this opening drive, it'll be an important one for them to give them a little jolt of confidence moving forward. Second down, another shot for Jones. And no luck at all to start this drive as they're going to drop it behind the line for a second straight play. That'll wind up as a loss on the play, so now they're staring at a third down and 12. This guy's going to jump into that deficit. They got to do a much better job in the run game. Caught behind the line of scrimmage, no yardage to be found. Third down now. Those last two plays indicative of how things have gone for them. Just nowhere to go on the ground and struggling to put up points. And they'll bring the big tight end across the formation left. Play fake. Here's Love. He's got his target. That's complete. And he's going to have a Packers first down as they're able to get the third down conversion. Well, we talk all the time about playing situational football right now. I think the scoreboard is dictating what they need to do. Where they are in this game, they've got to push the ball downfield, take their shots, try and get big chunks of yardage in a short amount of time. That was a nice play there. Jordan Love ready on first down here. Oh, this one incomplete. The pressure got to him as he released it. And it's second down. You get the sense that they're saying, we're not playing up to what we're capable of, and we're deep enough into the game that the early jitters are long gone, that they should now have some sense of continuity and be able to make some of these plays that they have not been doing so far. And he'll be brought down 
Just shy of the 45. Five yards. It's third and five. It's not a huge break in the hole. Starting running back finishes the game. Without a six yards per touch, you'll take that every single time. This offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Love. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Touchdown, Packers. Romeo Dobbs, 56 yards. And the Packers are able to cut into that deficit. Carlson's extra point up and good. And that cuts the lead to 28-14. So after the made field goal, here's Carlson to send it away. Fair catch going to be taken, and this will be moved out to the 25. The Eagles offense sent to begin their next drive. And they were terrific in the first half, built up a sizable lead. It's just been cut into a bit following the opening drive score on the other side. But this is a unit that has to be itching to get the football again. And you can say that again. They've got to be pretty eager because, let's face it, they've had to sit through halftime and sit on the sidelines and watch that drive. So you can bet that they're saying, let's get on with this. we got to go out there and get some more points. A big hitter to start the drive has him up near midfield here for first and ten. Hurt's going to keep it running right. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Well, for that being an option play, there really weren't too many options available for him, were there? No, there weren't, and at least he was able to get back to the line of scrimmage so he didn't lose anything, but you're exactly right. Nowhere to go. Third quarter, wild card round. Thanks for being along for the playoff ride with us. Here's second and ten. They will run straight ahead with Swift. And a solid run here as he'll pick his way down to the 42-yard line. 12 yards is the pickup. Good for an eagle first down. And in a situation like this, you're in the second half with the lead, trying to get to the division round. They're going to let him do his thing on the ground, and that's a great run there to pick up the first down. So into Packer territory now. Here's first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Now Hurts looking to change the play. First down, and they go with Swift again. And he finds a little bit of room, enough for four yards. It'll be second down. In the first half, he was held in check on the ground, but despite that lack of production, they still have the lead. Yeah, and they've got to feel fortunate about that. If they could actually get production from their lead horse, that would help open up this offense and widen this margin, too. Second and six. In motion goes the tight end. Once again, it's Swift. And he's brought down at the 34, calling a gain of four. I'd say they've got to find a way to get him going. He's such a big part of their offense. I wonder if they might throw it a little and come back to the run. Anything, because you're right, he's pretty much been completely neutralized. The Packers bringing in an extra member of the secondary here to try for the third down stop. They'll try and run here with Swift. Well, this is not going to be enough. Was in search of two yards and only got halfway there. 
Well, they're hoping that the second half is better for him than the first half. They've got to find a way to get him going. He's a big part of their offense. So they'll pass on what would have been a 49-yard field goal attempt, and they're going for it on fourth down. They'll try it now with Swift. And he's going to have the first down yardage as he's down at about the 30-yard line. Just a gain of three, but they'll certainly take it as they convert on fourth down. So he needed one. He ended up getting three. And I really like the way he ran that one, too. That's really intelligent running because oftentimes a running back could get too greedy. Try and hit the home run on a play where you just need a few yards. Well done. The fourth down run successful. Now they look to pay it off on first down. Here's Hurts to throw. They'll try and set up the screen to Swift. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. And good yardage there on first down because sometimes all you need to do on the screen is get one key block. That might set your man free, and that was pretty good pursuit to the football defensively, or it could have gone for more. Second down and a little more than a yard here. Back to throw here. Escaping the pressure right. And he just chucked that one out of bounds, out of everyone's reach. Maybe a wise call not to take a sack in this part of the field. It brings up third down. How good has he been throwing the football, though? And despite that incompletion, that's just the third time he's been off target this entire game. And Brandon, I've been on the other side of this equation, trying to defend a guy who's been this hot, and it chips away at your confidence. And when you're not confident when you're trying to defend, it makes you slower to the football, and it leads to more completions for them. Give him four yards as he does it himself, and it's a first down. I do know that owners, when they watch their quarterbacks running with the football, they usually hold their breath because that's the franchise. But when you're getting that kind of a game, hard to argue against calling it. They'll throw on first down with Hurts. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. And the Packers are right back in this football game. About set to get this drive started. The Green Bay offense at the line. If they want to advance in this divisional round, look, obviously the time is now. Trailing here in the fourth as they go to work on a crucial, crucial drive, first and ten. And the offense moving quickly to the line. Up the middle, Jones. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. They know that old expression, it's not my night. It hasn't been his so far. I don't know if the legs are a little bit heavy. Sometimes having to hang out all day and play doesn't exactly play to your advantage, but it's been a tough go for him. And every time he looks up, somebody's there defensively. That was the same case on that play. From the 42-yard line, here's the second and eight. Again, it's Jones. And able to work about five yards out of this as he's taken down here to the seven. The offense on third down tonight. They've converted four times out of six. Not bad. Here it's third and three. And it's taken in by his big tight end. And he's going to have a Packers first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard gain there on third and two. And a two-score game, obviously, every play, every third down, like we saw there, magnified big pickup. It was a huge pickup. 
What they really want, though, is to not even get to third down. They've got to maximize time and conserve as much as possible. First down, love to pass. 20, 10, touchdown, Packers. Aaron Jones with his second touchdown of the night. And the Packers have made it a one-score game again here in the fourth. Carlson's extra point up and good. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. So now Carlson, after the touchdown, called on to send this one away. And he'll elect not to run with it. The fair catch will move this out to the 25-yard line. Already at the line, this Philly offense set to go. And this, a very important drive, leading in the fourth quarter of this wild card game. But this one far from over as they start out here first down. And this is going to be an Eagles first down as the tackle made here at the 36. And when do they start thinking about burning these timeouts? They've got all three still defensively. To me, you have to start right now. Here's the time, and that means you've got to stop them on defense, not give up the yardage. Use your timeouts in order to get the ball back and try and score yourself. But now is the time to start using those timeouts. And keep in mind, it'll also stop the clock at the two-minute warning. Running game working. They'll stick with it on first down. And a result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves them with two to go on second down. Well, at this stage, that's exactly what you want offensively. Good run on first down. Stay in bounds. Keep that clock rolling. And look at that play chart that the play caller has in his hands right now. That's what you got to focus in on because that's divided up by sections. And right now, he's looking at that four-minute offense section. What running plays do we have to bleed down the clock and take care of the football? Right now, they're executing really well. Fourth quarter, down to the final two minutes. And we've got a one-score game. Second and a couple. the option to give to Swift here. And he'll go down right around the 47 this time. I like that run right there, partner. Not the flashiest run, not the one that's going to break for big yardage, but he understands the situation and taking care of the football, paramount, and he got it done. Nursing that slim lead, you're exactly right. Hold on to that ball. They're not totally home free yet, but it's looking good as they come up first and 10. Here's a quick throw caught by Smith. Well, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. And a good quarterback facing zone coverage. If he has just a little bit of time to survey the scene, that's what's going to happen. No doubt about it. If there's no pressure, he's going to continue to pick them apart because he'll have all that time to find someone open downfield. You can only cover for so long. So maybe they want to go to a zone blitz scheme, get a little bit more pressure. Remember when Carolina did that against Denver? They lost the game ultimately. They dropped the defensive end out, and he ended up with an interception in that game in Super Bowl 50. Maybe some sort of scheme like that to try and get more pressure at the passer. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. The Packers going to use one of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. to go in the game. I like it. I like the call. Still an opportunity to run the football and chew up a little more time off the clock. Now play number seven of this drive, but it's a tough third and nine. Hurts. Got him in. It's Brown. Now the Packers going to burn their third and final timeout. 
as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. I thought they might take a shot down the field, but instead they ran a little drag route there. I think they were hoping he could catch it and run away from the defender, but a really good job keeping the play in front of them, and they force a fourth down. A 47-yard attempt. The kick by Elliott is good. And that will extend their lead even further. So that one, CD, going to make the road back a lot more difficult. Oh, there's no doubt about that. You know they were praying on the other sideline for a miss because now, as you pointed out, a very difficult road. Down two scores. You don't just need a touchdown. You need a chain of events to go your way. You've got to score, somehow get the ball back, and score again. The odds of that happening, not great in your favor. Here's first and ten. Now Love. Now a desperation throw deep downfield. And he knocks the ball away and it falls incomplete. That was one they needed to connect on. They're down, but not quite out. So you have to figure. With under two minutes to play, they need to hit on something in very short order. But just over a minute to go in the football game. Second and ten. Here's Love. And well, that's going to be incomplete. Just a difficult situation to be in here in the final minute. Down two scores. You know you need some confidence from somewhere. They're going to keep playing until the end. But this one falls incomplete. Well, you don't have to beg the Philly faithful to make noise on their feet for third down. Love looking to throw it. And this pass broken up. That means it's just one last chance left, and this has to be a first down or a touchdown, or this game's over. The decision made for them. They've got to go. It's fourth down. Love. Such little time remaining, and as a result, their playoff run may end right here. The Eagles in the victory formation as they take an E. They go down to a knee, and that will do it. They are moving on here in the playoffs. And now we're going to...
going to get a timeout. Somewhat pointlessly called with three seconds to go in a game that's already been decided.